On Tuesday, trial was stalled in the proceedings owing to the absence of the defense counsel. But on Wednesday morning, all parties were present in court and the star prosecution witness, chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bauer, was ready to proceed with his testimony. Led in evidence by the counsel to the commission, Mr. Seydou Ate, the EFCC chairman told the court how the commission in 2012 received a complaint from the then Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Dezani Alison Maduke, alleging fraud in the importation of PMS by the firm Nadabo Energy Limited. It equally received a petition from the law firm of Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano. These petitions form the bedrock of the investigation against Abubakar Peters and his company. A special team constituted by the EFCC to probe the subsidy regime questioned officials of the Petroleum Products Pricing Regulatory Agency, PPRA, the CBN, Enterprise Bank, the Debt Management Office, the Nigerian Ports Authority, the Nigerian Navy, and many other companies involved in dealing with Nadabo Energy Limited. The team found that the defendant forged all the documents leading to the subsidy payment of 1.4 billion naira by inflating the quantity of petroleum products he imported. I'm personally testifying because uh, I was the lead investigator that investigated the matter way back in 2012. Uh, the defendant uh, claimed to have imported 12,000 metric tons, which is equivalent of about 16.8 million liters. And our investigation confirmed to us that uh, uh, only 6,000 metric tons were imported, which is equivalent of about uh, 8 million liters. And uh, as a result of uh, what he presented to the government, he was paid a subsidy of 1.4 billion, when ordinary he ought to have been paid only 600 uh, uh, million. When the EFCC sought to put into evidence documents to back this testimony, the defense counsel, Osage Isiramen, raised objections to the admissibility. After listening to arguments for and against, Justice Sadoten Ogunsoya overruled the objections and held that the documents were properly obtained during the course of the EFCC's investigations. Mr. Bauer will be back in court on the 1st of November for his cross-examination. Shola Shieli. Channels Television News.